Welcome back to Spoder and Golf, guys. Today, something completely different from any video we've ever done. Right now, to really be effective on social media platforms, you've got to hit the three major platforms really hard. YouTube Shorts, TikToks, and the Instagram Reels. So today, you're going to ride along with me. As we get some short form content, we're going to play hole by hole, just a guy in his backyard golf hole, his golf clubs and some cameras. I'm just going to kind of give you behind the scenes on how I make this short form content. And it, it really does, it, it helps boost the channel. It just basically gets Spud Run Golf out there to more eyeballs that hopefully will return for our long form content here on YouTube. Of course, you're gonna see the cameras all going in the, in the foreground. And I've got a couple crazy shots and we'll try at the end. And usually the crazier the, the short form stuff is, the better it does traction wise. And that's the goal. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out the bait, trying to get them over here with you guys and just uh, build the community. Now, if you came here from watching one of these short form videos, first and foremost, I'm not an actor. I shine here on the backyard golf hole, maintaining, building, just coming up with good ideas on how to play this. And here recently, we've had a ton of players coming over from Instagram, YouTube, uh, playing all the time. And it's just wonderful. We love having people out to experience the backyard golf hole. Once they get here, they're amazed at two things. The first thing is the elevation differences. The camera does not portray the different elevations we have here at Spud Run Golf. And then the second thing they're surprised with is how nice it really is. Uh, guys came out last night and they honestly said, they could have been tooting my horn a little bit, but they said that's one of the nicest greens they played on, one of the better fairways they played on. So that, that feels good to get, get feedback from the community on site. I mean, how many YouTubers can say that? All right guys, Spud Run Golf, a backyard golf hole here in Southern Ohio. It's a thing of beauty. Over the next several episodes, we're gonna get through each hole, play hole one through nine, show you guys what it's all about. We're up at number one tee, 310 yards. It's guarded by a creek. So we're hitting three with delay up. Should be an easy hole. Down the right side of the fairway. After only one take, we're gonna call that one a win. That usually don't happen, but you saw it one take. And who knows, maybe we can sneak in a course record here as we play these nine. I won't, I, I won't cheat you. We'll play for real. If I have a bad hole, which I probably will have one or two bad holes, it's all gonna be in there. We've got a front right pin. I've got about 90 yards. Gotta get a little bit left. I'm short. So this one here, I'm gonna set another, uh, my old phone up by the hole, just in case it rolls up tight. Probably won't use this footage, but we're gonna do it anyways. And this thing's all out of whack. These are the ones you don't want to miss on camera. Starting out with the par. Going to number two, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this, my big camera up, just in case something crazy would happen. Usually when I do this, you can't even see the ball, and it's just, it's a waste, but we'll go ahead and get it set up here. Uh, just kind of on the, get the front edge of the green, and then that way, just in case something happens, it'd be cool to get that all right, there looks good. The tee box don't look good, but the tee box actually coming in really well. It'd be so nice to get one up on the green. Baby fade. I didn't even bring my putter, guys. That's how good I feel about this. <laughs> Hole number three here at Spud Run Golf. Place to 243. We've got a three wood. I know I got the distance, that's where I got the, the aim. Might get to your first bunker shot. Actually, actually this will be for birdie. Come on Zebra. We're gonna pull the flag on this one. Now I've... So I built this green. I know this thing's gonna go hard. It's downhill, it's gonna break hard left. But even though you built it, doesn't mean you'll make it. One under after three. Next hole's an easy par three. We're gonna play it about 90 yards. Hole four, one under. Let's get the first one on camera going in the cup. Both cameras going. Hole number three. 
I did mess up. Hole number four here at Spell Drone Golf can play anywhere from 70 to 90 yards. Right now we're playing about 80 yards. This green will be receptive if I can hit it in the right spot. I yanked it. All right, there again, another big sidewinder. I'd give my chance of making this two of 10. Out of 10 putts, I make two. Maybe it wasn't such a sidewinder. We got this left for par. A little cleanup. Hole number five. I was looking at that camera, wrong camera. Hole number five is by far our crappiest tee box. We've got good plans to get this redone here soon to really complete the rest of the tee boxes, as you've seen or you will see, in really good shape. Hole number five is coming in at you at 250 yards. Takes a baby fade. I'm going to tee it high and let it fly. That could be in the hole. Backside of the green, you're going to see the longest putt pretty much possible here at Spud Run Golf. It's going to be a long one. Guys, that was an awesome shot. It is going to be a long putt, though. we got a chance at eagle to go. We're one under still, yeah. We're actually way closer than what I thought we'd be. we got a decent shot. We've got the same putt we just had in the last one. we got a decent shot at eagle. That's not going to tap in birdie. All right. Takes us to two under for the round. Now we're at the infamous Hack Shack. If it's not famous yet, it's going to be one day. The Hack Shack, soon to be the most famous par three, top five. The Hack Shack, soon, let's see. The Hack Shack, soon to be top 10 most famous holes in all of America. Playing about 50 yards, easy peasy. This is our little Hack Shack where we hang out and we just have a ball up here, hitting balls, watching TV, watching golf tournaments. Pin, tight left behind that red oak tree. By design, we want to hit, it's going to spin left, close to the hole, here we go. too much so guys I am gonna hit two up here because I do want to get the first one's what we'll play but the second one I just want to get a view of me swinging from this this angle and this thing is it's just lightning fast today my toughest par putt for the round for sure and the freaking easiest hole Hole number seven here at Spoder and Golf is going to play 495 yards unless you cut the dog leg out, which is what I'm going to try to do. My goal is those trees on the left, we want to fly those. Anything right of those trees, my driver's going to be in trouble. That should be absolutely perfect. Should have 150 in. That was a big high draw. I didn't record none of that. <sighs> and that one is just blasted. As you can see, it cut over the trees right where we wanted to do. So yeah, my drive here about one, about 150 out. But as you can see, what's important here is I did make it over these trees. I did get over these trees, but I was flirting with this creek, and I find myself in that creek quite a bit. 150 out, hole number seven, my second shot. I've got an eight iron because we do have some wind up there. Sun's finally coming out, going to dry things out, but we're almost done today. Sitting at two under. Not turning enough. You will get to see your first sand shot at Spud Run Golf. Let's go, Sandy. It's my third shot on the par five. A tight, tight. It's my third shot on the par five. Quick up and down. Quick up and down. 
I'm gonna have to really splash it out and hope it sticks. I'm gonna have to splash it out and hope it really sticks. All right, we'll take that. And all these people that's been playing, they've really been impressed with the sand. They say it's like real sand. They're not used to hitting out a good PGA sand, which this is the good stuff. It was high dollar, it's what? It's the best. To go three under on the round. So for those of you keeping track, that was, that's a three footer. Just because you have a backyard golf hole, doesn't mean you're gonna be good. Hole number eight here at Spud Run Golf. It's a newer tee box, but it's poked way back here in the woods. A beautiful, beautiful shot. However, it brings on several different obstacles. You can play it safe, lay it out between the 100 and 150 with the five iron, or you can play the big power fade, which is what I'm gonna do off the deck. Ideally, if I could hit this about 240, power fade, I should have a sand wedge in my hands. Hole number eight, Spud Run Golf. Straight as an arrow. It's safe, but it's in the woods. We got a shot. It didn't fade. As you can see, I've got some tree trouble here on hole number eight. I could go right at the pin, but it's like inches from this nice poplar tree. A little bit right's gonna be in the bunker. Terrible lie down the hole. All right, we'll take that. We will take that. Ooh, got lucky on that one. Hopefully I can zoom in to show you how close that went to that tree because it had to have been close. Had to have been really close. Really, really lucky with that one, guys. Up and down to save a par. <laughs> Go check out number nine. It's most people's favorite hole. Here, Spud Run Golf, hole number nine. This is really, really wearing me out. Like I'm rushing, and obviously nothing scripted, but one more hole, number nine. You're gonna love number nine, and then we're gonna try, quite arguably, the most corrupted thing you've probably ever seen happen at Spud Run Golf. Coming up. Hole number nine here at Spud Run Golf is a big, big drop. About 115, probably a place closer to 100. It's way down there. We've got a six degree wedge, probably three quarter swing. Let's knock it tight. Gotta go. Gotta go. We'll take it. I thought that was way short. It made it. Guys, this putt is for a three under. Will be the new course record if we can make it. I doubt we make it. Turn this camera on for a two at number nine. Gotta think this ball is a big swooper. We'll call that a shoe in, right? We are now going to recreate a shot that got nearly 4 million views across social media. Me hitting a driver off my garage floor in the concrete. It, they went crazy. Spud run golf. Let's do a little third back and a little driver off the concrete from the garage to our backyard golf course. You'll probably see some sparks flying. Straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. DOC. Driver off concrete. Come on. Now the first try. I mean, I'm telling you, that thing was just. It's it's right at the hundred yard marker, but it's dead center fairway. Honestly, I got lucky in that one. Spud run golf, let's do a little throw back, a little driver off the concrete from the garage to our backyard golf course. You'll probably see some sparks fly. Straight as an arrow. 
straight as an arrow. DOC, driver off concrete, come on. Now next challenge that you're gonna be, I'm, in, I'm saying, trust me, I know what I'm doing. All right guys, if I ever needed one take on a shot, this would be it. Driver off the green. I have no clue what's gonna happen. Obviously I wanna just pick it clean, hit a good shot, buzz right down past that camera, be all right. I mean, really, you just pick it clean. I mean, pick it clean. All right, let's get this camera rolling. Spud Run Golf, backyard golf course. I'm not the DOD. They call me the DOG. <laughs> Driver off the backyard golf green. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at your local course. This first take, first try. I'm putting it up there, whatever happens. Three cameras rolling. I don't know what's gonna happen. Here we go. We're gonna try it again, that was too clean. All right, it was a bad shot. I'm just nervous, I don't want, another ball. I'm hitting it, I'm just scared to get down underneath of it. One more try. Guys, that one went really close to my other camera. That'll sound, uh, that's sound really, really cool. Third and final try, spud run for the win, guys. Give us a follow. Oh. One more, come on. I wanna hit a good one. I think my feet are tearing it up more than anything. That's it. That's it. We'll get the ground screw out here, me. We'll get this repaired, and you're gonna give us a follow. The D-O-G. Weasel that. Not terribly bad. This will be healed up in no time. No time at all. It could have been way worse. I was actually expecting way worse. So we'll call that a win. We got our footage. I know our video went a little bit long, but you got to see some behind the scenes stuff that's, I think, appropriate for what we need to do to get the channel grown and I, I really had fun. So over those last few hours, we were able to get several months of footage for short form content. I might be able to compact it down to get one month because if we hit it hard quick, I think it'll be more effective. You got to see some behind the scenes and, and the crazy stuff I've done. The last one I was really scared about, it wasn't bad. That'll be healed up in a week, I bet. And if you keep following, I think we'll all be pleasantly surprised of how well that'll get traction. Those, the short form content that we gained today, it'll produce millions of views on Spud Run, and that's a goal. Let's get some views on Spud Run, see if we can get these guys and gals over to long form content, and uh, really get them invested, like you maybe are so far. From the backyard golf hole in Southern Ohio, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for playing with the Spud Run Golf, over and out. <laughs> Making a thumbnail. I'm just getting footage for the thumbnail. How about that one? Like a mean face. Ooh. Or a sad face. Mm. Or a... Uh, that might be a good one. Oh. <laughs> See you guys.